All right, let's play a game against Lord Raddington, the Dominion bot. So a little bit of pregame analysis. We have Chapel for trashing. That's going to be useful. We have Militia as a decent attack. Money, uh, way to stunt your opponent at the beginning. We also have Moneylender for trashing, but with Chapel, we probably don't really need Moneylender. Let's see, we have Laboratory for draws. We have Throne Room. So we have no village by default, so if we want a village, we can Throne Room Laboratory. But the question is, if we did that, what would we even do with the resultant actions? And the answer is probably not too much other than Smithy to get more cards. So it looks like we're going to need some kind of a money element here. We could go Merchant, but we can do that later in the game. So let's see how this goes. All right, we got four, so we're going to do Militia Silver Open. Or not Militia Silver, Militia Chapel. Okay. We had another four, which is a little unlucky. Uh, not really. That's probably pretty no normal, actually. Actually, okay, look at that. They played a council room and gave us another card. We want more draw. So this is an interesting spot to be in. There are not a lot of threes I actually even want right now, so it doesn't really make sense to play Militia. Okay, it got a gold. I'm gonna play a laboratory to get more cards. Ooh, okay, we have a lot of money, but we don't even have anything we wanna buy necessarily. But if we chapel, we're gonna lose things uh, that we could potentially buy. So we really need to get throne rooms. So what we're gonna do is we are just gonna militia. This is probably a mistake. I probably should have, you know, chapeled down a little there. But we're gonna go for throne rooms because we're gonna need them sooner rather than later. Throne room the militia. A good bit of money. Let's go for more draw at the moment. Okay, play a laboratory to draw a few more cards. Laboratory, throne room. Hmm. We'll throw in room the militia again. We'll just keep getting labs because those are very useful. Still buying gold, so Lord Raddington's going for a money strategy, clearly. What's new? Um, now we really should start chapeling, so we're going to do two coppers and an estate. And just to get a little more draw, we're going to get a smithy in there. Though we don't have a lot of good uh, villaging abilities at the moment, so... To up that, we're going to get another throne room. And here we go. We have our first actual village that's comprised of a throne room and a laboratory. I'm going to get play a smithy. And then, let's see, what do we want to do this turn? Um, we are having some money problems. So why don't we go ahead and actually throne room a laboratory to get more actions. And then what we're going to do is we're going to play a militia. We could have throne room that militia, and that would have been pretty nice for money now. But... I do want to actually trash a couple of these, so we're going to do that, and with four, and get another throne room. Okay, so let's throne room our throne room, and then let's play a lab to get lots of cards and actions. Let's play, uh, let's throne room again, and let's play a smithy. So that was free as far as actions are concerned. Um, now we can go ahead and militia, and we'll throw in the militia this time, so that'll be good. And then we'll go ahead and chapel, and we will chapel down. But you may notice we are at a point where we are out of money, and money's really low. So this is probably a good time to start getting or thinking about getting things like merchant. Um, but for now, we are actually just going to get another militia as money. Not the greatest. Risky. Very risky. But um, the alternative was a silver, and that's going to be you know, potentially a little slower. So. We're just going to double throne room the smithy, and we're throwing lab over and over. So what we're really going to do is we're going to throw in militia, and we're going to play militia again. And that's a pretty good outcome. We ended with a six. Um, we only have one buy. That's another thing I should have mentioned. Council room's the only buy in this. So what we're going to do, we have a ton of draw, so, but we are actually going to get another council room to increase our buy. Um, and we're just going to be careful to try to always throne room after council rooming. So, or I'm sorry, militia after counseling. So that's good. Now we're going to start actually getting some payloads, actually getting some money. So we're going to start with the silver and we're going to just double down on merchants. 
there's no good gainers out here um or we would you know try to uh get multiple merchants a turn that way so we're gonna double council room Ooh, and we're in a bad spot so we just have to militia or undo that actually we should throw on the throne that way we can smithy and whatever comes up we can throw on again Ooh, that was poorly played and I had an undo even but anyways we can start doing the kind of things we want to do now like double merchants fine this is a very unfortunate hand um, so we're just going to hmm, we're just gonna play militia hurt the opponent and our turn not a great hand not a great play this should be better. We're going to throw in a lab. We're going to throw in a lab again. And then there's no reason to play council room here because we can just draw what we need that way. And now let's think about what we actually want here. We want money. Militia gives us money. Merchant gives us money. So let's just go ahead and let's actually throw in, <laughs> let's throw in the merchant. Which is militia a few times and actions auto play and we only have one buy so that's where the council room would have come in handy but i didn't like where it ended up being drawn i don't like uh that it gives your opponent another card so here we have a good start we can throw in the laboratory for more actions and cards we can throw in the council room well we don't actually have to do that let's just throw in the laboratory now everything's all out in the open um so we can do things like council room, merchant, merchant, throne room, a merchant, play a militia, play a militia, end actions, auto play. And then we only have two buys, but that's okay. Uh, throne rooms have been really useful this game, so we're going to keep getting them. And we're going to get another merchant. This is a pretty good hand. In this case, we probably will. Yeah, we'll, we'll double throne room to make sure we preserve our actions, and then we'll throw in the council room, we'll throw in a throne room, we'll throw in a laboratory. And then what do we want to do here? We can throw, we don't have a lot of actions, so we should probably start by doing something like throning a merchant, and then we will uh, throne a militia. I'm not thinking through which one's worth more right now. I probably should, but I'm not. And actions auto play and now we're at 13 and three buys so that's looking a little bit better let's keep doubling down on throne rooms and merchants seems like a good combo for this particular game because we don't have any natural villages so throne room plus merchant makes a village and money so that's okay we'll go ahead and play council room hoping for something nifty which we got something nifty throw in a couple labs and that's everything. So let's just go ahead and throne, a throne, a throne. I think that's fine to do here. And let's just double down on these merchants, really. So play all of our merchants, play a militia, and actions. We only have two buys. So we have lots of money, but two buys. Let's go ahead and start our province game here. And let's increase our draw a little bit because we might be at risk there. Um, we're going to want more buys anyway, so I'm going to increase draw through the council room. So, laboratory, merchant, thank goodness we got that. Um, we can throw in the council room. Let's see what this merchant brings back before we do that, though. Okay. Um, let's throw in the merchant to make sure we have leftover actions. Okay, now we can throw in the council room since we have leftover actions. And now we can do things like play lab a couple times to get everything else out there. And then we can, you know, throw on the throne, play a merchant, play a merchant, throw on the throne, play, uh, hmm. We have a lot of actions. If we do this, we get another buy. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's do this. Let's do this. And actions, auto play treasures. And we got 16 and five buys. So that's looking better on the buy front. We could double province. Um, we run a little bit of risk doing that, but 
let's go ahead and single province and let's just go ahead and get a merchant, another merchant, and let's end it there. It's trying to increase the amount of money we get out. Okay, so let's throw in a throne and we got to get more actions, so we'll go ahead and lab. And then we'll do the smithy also. So let's throw in a throne for council room. And then for council room, or for throne again. For merchant, let's just keep throwing merchant. Okay. Gives us lots of interesting possibilities. Let's go ahead and double militia. And actions auto play treasure should be high. No, oh, not as high as I expected. Um, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and get another province now, and we're in the lead, which is nice. And then let's increase our. Hmm, what do we really want here? It doesn't hurt us to get merchants, and throne rooms seem to be really powerful in this particular hand. Okay, Lord Raddington crept back into the lead, but it doesn't really matter. The game's over. Um, cause I'm just going to keep doing stuff like this, get my whole deck out there and then we'll throw in a bunch of merchants, throw in a merchant again, play more merchants, play more militia. And then we have three buys, only four money out. So that means I probably, hmm, what does that mean? I don't think it means anything. It means I, oh, it means I just played my militia. I didn't um, throw in them. Let's go ahead and auto play. And now we easily have enough to end the game by buying two provinces. Okay, and we ended up winning 30 to 21. So a little closer, a little close, but uh, still a fun game.